not sure if this is working. <laughs> so let me just wait and see if something happens. Stream problems. I may have to restart the entire event. Let's just see if it's going to work. That's working. This is not working. YouTube has changed everything. <laughs> Okay, we are working. Good, let's carry on. That's flummoxed me a bit. There's a massive delay, it seems, between this and YouTube. But hey, hello. Let's start from the beginning. Mm, yeah, YouTube have changed all the control room and everything, which is um, uh, just confusing everything. You know, it's like new interfaces. Anyway. Let me do some hellos. And by the way, if you've got a website you want me to review, then do um, put it in the chat. I've only got one at the, on the list so far today. So um, yeah, let's do some hellos. Hello, hello, hello to Coil, uh, Josh even. Josh, you were first, hello, Josh. Hello, Kolia. I don't know what's up with your site. Um, it sounds like it's a template problem you got there. So in your settings, in your theme settings, you're gonna have some something to do with page templates and you need to make sure that all your pages are set to use a header and a footer. I think that's what's going on with your site. Um, I mean, if you wanna email over a login, uh, we might be able to fix it live on stream. It's eagle at wpeagle.com. Hello and hello, good to see you. Hello, Baris. Hello, Ocean Water to Wave. Hello, Roger J, 1974. Hello, Phil. I don't know who's making the coffee, Roger. It's a bit late for coffee, probably. It's about time for something a bit stronger than that. Hello, Admin Niwa. Hello, Baris. I don't know why I'm putting an accent onto some names. Please ignore that. Um, hello, Pastor Duke. Hello, Carl. Thanks for the thumbs up before we've even started. We're up to three already, that's a good start. Hello, Gaz. Hello, Whisperhub. Hello. Who else we got? Ender. Good to see ya. Um, Hudson, did I say hello to you? I'll say hello to you again if I did. And Sean, and I think we're going around again now, aren't we? Phil has pizza on the way. Oh, sounds good. I've already had some pizza, though, to be fair. I could eat more pizza. I love pizza. But anyway, tonight. We're going to be talking about some stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing some of your sites. So we can have a look at Pastor Jukes. He just submitted his site. Ooh, let me add that to my list right now. It sounds like an interesting niche you got there. So yeah, we're going to review a couple of sites and a few other things. But before we start, let's just do a few little announcements. Hello, Zalin. Zalin, you've been waiting all day for my stream. Wow, I'm, I'm honoured. So, did you see the video I put up earlier today? I had a good chat with a fellow YouTuber Daryl Wilson. I don't know if you're aware of him. I'm sure you have uh, seen his stuff because I've mentioned it a number of times before. I did that video about uh, musty YouTubers, and he was featured within there. He's got way more subscribers than I have. Uh, and a probably a better channel, if I'm honest. But yeah, we had a good chat. We were talking about WordPress and how you can make money with WordPress, our experiences with WordPress, how we learnt WordPress. Uh, a lot about WordPress, as you can imagine. And yeah, go check it out. It's about half an hour. It was over Skype, so the quality's a little bit ropey and the connection drops out a bit. I didn't edit it, really, so you can see all the, all the mess-ups. Reflection, maybe I should have watched it back through properly and edited it, but I just wanted to get it up. So let me know if there's anything that I need to be aware of. In that video, um, oh, stupid robot fightingly. Good to see you. Not seen you for ages. Barris says, Alex, why don't you use social media at Best Roofbox? I haven't got to that bit yet. I'm going to be doing it soon, but social media takes up lots of time. The next thing we're going to be doing is YouTube, which I guess is social media. Carl says, Daryl's got a girlfriend he has, which is why he's still over in Thailand. He met someone over there. Helen says, who hit the thumbs down, the rotter? I don't know. 
someone has been down farming all a lot of my videos today. I think they've got not much, uh, not much else to do. And yeah, I noticed a lot of down thumbs kind of going through all of the videos. So there's someone out there that just is down thumbing just because it makes them happy, which is fine. If it makes them happy to down thumb my videos, then they can go ahead and down thumb as much as they like. So yeah, that's what I want to say. Did you check out that video? Yesterday I put out an update video on best roof box. Did you see it? The earnings are continuing. We're up to over $130. Um, of which about 120 or so of those dollars came in the last 30 days. So that's looking promising. And let's jump on the computer. And I've got a couple of other things to show you. So I'm just gonna turn around and click this button. That's the front of me. And this button, that's Google. And let's move that, that's better. Ah, the other thing I was going to do is I'm going to bring up the chat over here too because that would make sense. I don't know why I've, I've not done it before. Uh, bit, uh, what am I? Um, I'm in the wrong bit. Yeah, let's bring up. Let's mute that. Yeah, there we go. Now I can chat with you on this computer as well. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. I say, why have I not done this before? So rather than cricking my neck all the time when I'm sitting on the computer. Hudson says, how do you go about searching for a new niche? Um, did you start scanning Amazon product ideas? I kind of did, but I kind of just wanted to get a roof box and I did a search for domain names and bestroofbox.com was available, so I registered it. There is a video on my channel all about choosing a niche. So go check that out, but basically, yeah. Start with something that you're into. That's a good good thing to start with. You know, something that you might have an interest in or a little bit of passion. It'll make it easy to create content, but it's not essential. And then, yeah, dive into Amazon and start drilling quite deep within the categories. So, for example, best roof box, you'd go into cars and then you'd go deeper and you'd end up in the roof box area. And you'd be surprised at where you end up when you start drilling deep into Amazon. Note down a few ideas and then go over to Google, start doing some searches and see what kind of suggestions Google is throwing up. Install something like Keywords Everywhere, give you a few ideas of numbers. You can use Google Trends as well for that. And following that process, you're probably gonna get it down to a few, two or three niches that have people searching for them that don't seem to have much competition on Google and that have some quite interesting products on Amazon and then pick one of those. Yeah, says I have a weird thing happen this week. I have a newish site that's been averaging five to ten visits per day for ages, and then on Monday it spiked to 453 in one day. Why would that happen? Well, you need to use your Google Analytics to find out why that's happened. <laughs> if you go into Google Analytics for that day and just bring up that day in isolation, and then go into your acquisition section, it should tell you where all those people came from. It could be something happened in the media, but more likely than not, it was probably just a whole load of bots that came along one day and they were probably trying to hack into your site or something. Sean says, Alex, when you've completed a site, would you ever remove the post from the categories to replace with a larger article with, an, with images and turn the category page into contextual links to your post instead? Um, no, why would I want to do that? Uh, I get it, so you get some kind of cornerstone article. No, I wouldn't do that. So yeah, anyway, the reason why I came on the computer, the first thing I wanna show you is, which I know a lot of you are already aware, is I have launched my own, very own content creation service. So I know a lot of you guys um, are after content and you can now buy it from me. Woohoo! Um, if you wanna see an example a bit of content, you go over to bestroofbox.com there is a bit, uh, let me just show you which one it is. I've got a whole load more coming for the site from my team of writers now. So there'll be loads more examples coming up soon. But yeah, this one, what is the best rooftop cargo carrier is by my guys. Take a look, see what you think. I like it. So yeah, the content creation service is up. Now it's a monthly service because you know you need content every month for your, 
to your website, obviously. And I've already got one sign up, which is exciting. And I've got a customer on this epic plan, which is the best value plan because you get eight articles every single month. You can even go for the 1000 word article version or the 2000 word article version. There's going to be a few different uh, plans coming soon. Or in fact, we can do custom plans. And yeah, you get eight articles for uh, the monthly fee. Now the comments that I have been getting are, wow, that's quite expensive. <laughs> and yeah, I guess it is a little expensive. It's, I'd like to say good value because as you know, I've had a lot of experience with different content companies and you can get cheap content, but I wanted to provide a service using UK and US writers where English is their native language. I wanted to get some really high quality writers and yeah, as you can imagine, high quality writers in, in England or in the UK and in the US, they're not cheap. So this is the best possible price that I've been able to offer stuff at. And yeah, here it is. There's no commitment. You can change the plan at any time. You can go for one month, see how it works out, and then cancel. And there we go. So yeah, if any of you guys want to check it out, try it out, sign up. Be uh, be more than happy to help you with your content. LC, we can review your site in a moment. Okay, I think we've probably got enough sites to review now. So that's on the list. Where's my list? There's my list. So yeah, do check out the content service. Um, what else we got going on in the chat? Good afternoon, R7. Nice to see you. Hello, O2 Hud. Good to see you. Guess is why in dollars? Why in dollars? Because it's a good question. Because a lot of you guys are not in the UK. And it seems that even if you are in the UK, we understand dollars. Everyone understands how much a dollar is. So yeah, that's why it's in dollars. Just to kind of make it easier. <laughs> I had to pick some currency. So I've also changed all of the merchandise as well to dollars. Okay, the Tan Expert is the last site I'm adding to the list from Shantanu. We're gonna go through these in a minute. Holler taxi, let me just, I need to make a note of your names here. Shantanu. And whose was Holler Taxi? Holler Taxi. LC. Got ya. Sean says, would you do eight times 500 instead of four times 100? Maybe, that could be an option. Bradbury says, the price figures go weird if you resize the browser. I... Yeah. You know what, I've, I've had a lot of issues with these responsive price table things. They're a pain in the butt. I think if you actually look at it on a tablet, it looks fine. I've not installed Google Sidekick. Josh, is it good? Barry says, a question on the service one, which payment method do you use to get paid for the service? It is Stripe, you're right, absolutely Stripe to take credit cards and there's also a PayPal option as well if you like. Uh, which pricing plugin for the tables um, is this one, I did put it up in the WP Eagle Facebook group, by the way, which you should all check out. Um, I'll get a link to that in a minute. It's called Responsive Pricing Tables, I think. Uh, let me just, if I just Google it, I'll find it. This one. Responsive Pricing Table is free, and there is a premium version if you want. It's nice. Hi Stephanie, good to see you. So yeah, that's it, the um, content service, check it out. There was one other thing I wanna show you. 
Now this is very exciting. So I'm currently about to launch the bestroofbox.com um, YouTube channel. And I ordered some videos. Let me find one from a company called The Hoff. I don't know if you've heard of them. They used to be like a black hat SEO company. Now they do white hat and they also do videos. So I basically gave them some of uh, a couple of my articles and said, make a video. But that was about it. And look. Golfing is a great sport, but you do need to make sure that you have look, 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 look. Can you hear that? I don't know. Can you hear that? Um, maybe. Let me see if I can, you can hear this. Golf course. Rather than trying to fit them into your car, which can be uncomfortable and difficult, it's a much better idea to invest in a roof cargo box for your golf club. Keep watching for some of our favorite roof boxes. In a wedge plus cargo box. So yeah, they basically created these videos from my articles and they look okay. Four to six snowboards or six to eight skis. But it's also a great option for hauling golf clubs. The inner mat in this roof box prevents clubs from moving around in the box. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Can you hear it? Maybe. Let me see if I can hear this. I think you probably hear it from my mic. But anyway, I'm going to put them on YouTube and we'll see how that pans out. I've also got my other intro video that I showed you before. So yeah, if they're good, I'll get some more. I'm also doing a full review on the Hoff service. But they've like, got real guys talking and stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with the website reviews and then we'll just go back do some chatting questions whatever you like really so where's my list hello action movies good to see you so let's do uh, past the dukes first so this 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 is a perfect niche well I, well, I think it's perfect niche because it is like really niche isn't it uh, and I often find that when you combine two kind of niches or two passions, two things that you're into together, you get these great niches or niches, I should say, if you're in America, like Pastor Duke. So Pastor Duke, he's obviously into the church and he's also probably into technology. So what do you do? You get your interest in the church and you get your interest in technology and you put them together. You get church technology. It's a great niche. There's not going to be hardly any other sites out there doing it. It's perfect. So let's have a quick look. I'll answer your questions in a second. So it is the rehub theme, which I'm not a big fan of anymore, to be fair. It's, it hasn't been updated and it's a bit clunky, but you've made it look really nice here. And yeah, these articles look really good. So it looks like you're promoting some service there, Boxcast, um, which I'm sure pay you a lovely CPA. <laughs> so it's not just Amazon, you've got some other stuff promoting. The table of contents there has gone a bit weird. I know I have got my browser at a sort of weird size, which might not be helping. Um, Just trying to get it fit a bit better. So that's got a bit weird, this table of contents. I'm not sure how useful these table of contents is, things are. I mean, I know this is a plugin or something generating it. And every affiliate site seems to have it, but I'm not too keen. This all looks really good. I mean, Pastor he knows what he's doing. He's been making some good money online for a little while. He's one of Doug Cunnington's students. Ah, that reminds me, that's the other thing I need to tell you guys. We'll get to that in a second. Um, I think it's a great niche. The, the site looks good. I mean, although it, you're using Rehub, which is a more of a price comparison type theme, and this is kind of a blog sort of site, you may do better with a different theme. That's just my thoughts on it. All your page titles, everything seem in order. Your site's secure, it's nice and fast, it looks good. You've got your social sharing buttons. The only thing that's gone a bit weird is the table of contents. I don't know what's going on there. You've got videos. I like it. 
good work. Hi Mike, good to see you. So yeah, I don't think there's, there's much I can help you with, past you, apart from say that yeah, you might get on with a, a more kind of content focused theme rather than Rehub. Uh, maybe something that uses Elementor or some other page builder because I don't think Rehub does properly. Let me quickly do a couple of questions in between the reviews. LC says, where is the cheapest domain hosting for rank and rent? I'm not quite sure what you mean by rank and rent, but I wouldn't always go for the cheapest hosting. Some of the best value hosting is with SiteGround. Do appreciate if you use my link, by the way. I'm gonna put that in the chat now. It's an affiliate link, of course. It's basically just wpeagle.com slash SiteGround. Federico says, hello Alex, I'm thinking of uh, to register a digital company limited. Did you register a company over here in the UK? If so, could you make a video going for the whole thing? I have got a company registered in the UK. It involves filling in some forms. I think I'm not gonna make a video on it because it's not really an area that I'm uh, too familiar with. What I did to get a company was I went to an accountant and I said, can you set me up a company? And they went, yes, and they did it. <laughs> I paid them. If you don't want to form a company, there are some ready kind of made companies that you can just buy. Let me Google that, that makes it easier. They're like dormant, they've just been uh, formed and nothing's gonna happen with them. Uh, I've got an itchy head. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I keep scratching my head. I went to a festival at the weekend, uh, which was good, but there was a lot of little midgy flies and they've bitten on my head. Mm. Yeah, I like your live streaming service landing page, really good. How much is SiteGround? I think, let me have a quick look. Very reasonable. By the way, you just need this web hosting. You don't need WordPress hosting or WooCommerce hosting. They're all basically the same, but they, if you go for the WordPress hosting, they install WordPress automatically for you. It's four ninety nine, um, four ninety five a month for the first year, then it goes up to fourteen ninety five a month for the Grow Big, which is probably the package you'll want. So yeah, the one thing I just want to mention before I do the next site review. is Doug has a webinar on tomorrow, Doug Cunnington. I'm gonna put a link in the chat right now. It's a free webinar and you can watch it afterwards. He's gonna be talking about the perfect Amazon template. He's going to uh, show you some real examples from real sites, which is very unlike Doug, as we know. <laughs> I don't know if they're his sites, but there's certainly some real sites. And what to do if you don't own the product, and that's most of us, so doing reviews when you don't own a product. So if you do wanna go sign up for that, do click my link, it is an affiliate link, so if you do happen to buy Doug's course at any point, I'll get a reward. But Doug does give some great content away for free, so I think it'd be worth registering at least, then you can get the replay even if you can't get on live, which is at 11 a.m. mountain time, whatever time that is, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess you can run it for a time converter check and you'll find it. William says, you previously reviewed our site and your suggestions work well, visitor retention is up. We know there is more that we don't care, we'll look at it again. I can't tonight, William. Maybe next week I've got enough sites for tonight. Uh, but if you drop me an email, I will add it to the list for next week. JJ, hey, good to see you. Let's have a look at another site. So this one was by Ivan. This site is work in progress. It's stuffly. And we can see that it's inspired by uh, I want one of those kind of sites, isn't it? Is it called I want one of those? Or well, this is why I'm broke, one of those. So just products and then I think if I click, is it gonna take me through to a product? Yeah, okay. What theme is this then? Flatsome, okay, good old Flatsome, we love Flatsome. 
as does Daryl, as he mentioned today. I think it's good, but I don't have much experience with these kind of sites where you're just kind of doing any product that's on offer. You know, I, I prefer to move into a niche, create content and, and go for that way because I, I just wonder, unless you've got a strong brand and stuff, E is a, quite a good name, <clears throat> but you're gonna need to build it up as a brand, which I think is gonna be quite tricky. What are these numbers here? Are they real 4,849 sales? And what are these pants with like the little wind coming out? That's weird. <laughs> so yeah, I think you've got potential, but there's not a lot more I can say. I mean, are you gonna create content? I think if you create content around the products, you'd probably find it easy to get traffic. I'm not gonna do any more sites, so don't add them to the chat right now. If you want me to do your site maybe next week, then just email me. Possibly this, the stream will be slightly later next week as well, but I'll obviously let you know. Federico's given a little tip there. It must be check the price at Amazon, not on Amazon. It's against their terms to use on Amazon. They are so fussy, aren't they? Donna says, I'd sub submit my site for review, but I'm scared of negative SEO. I don't know if there's anything to be scared of there. I mean, I can't imagine that anyone watching my streams would then jump on to some negative SEO uh, to, to attack the sites that I feature. I, I can't see that happening, but if you've got an experience with that, then do let me know. Okay, let's have a look at another, what we got here. This was from LC earlier. This is Holler Taxi. So you are a taxi company up in Coventry. What have we got here? Wealth, I've not seen this theme before. This yellow one here is not as clear as it could be. So I'm wondering if you add maybe a slight gray background to it, it will be easier to read. I like the image and, and the text on it, but I think you know it needs a little bit of a, a background color just to lift it a, uh, slightly. The other thing is that the site is not secure, which may put people off, because you get this big not secure now in Chrome, which scares people if they don't know what that means. Uh, <clears throat> Zayn says, um, I'm not gonna do any more site reviews, action reviews. If you want me to review your site, email me at eagle at wpeagle.com. I'll do it next week. Zaylin says, what is the extension I'm using up here? It's just called the uh, WordPress theme detector uh, extension plugin thing. Pretty useful. Now with this site, there's a lot of stuff moving about. It's making me feel a little bit seasick. I don't know if you need so many sliders and bits whizzing in and out and, and whatnot. This is a nice table. This is WP, um, what do you call it? Tables, what's it called? The basic one, it's quite nice. I'd make this call to book. I'd actually put the phone number cooler than the phone number to book, just calls to action. More flashy flying and stuff. Yeah, you've used like every single effect they do over there. Wow, we it's making the fan come on on my computer. That's a long page as well. It's there's a lot going on on this page, isn't there? And there's so much flashing in it. It's slightly, slightly off-putting. And I guess this is your SEO you're going for here. You got airport taxis, Coventry. In your page title, you've got cheap airport taxes, Coventry. But you don't actually have that phrase on the home page. I don't know how important that is, but generally it's an idea if you've got it in the page title to have it somewhere on the page as well. I think the site's getting there. I think you turn down the effects a little bit. It's a little bit overwhelming, all the stuff flying in and out. Kleinfield Technical Services has just noticed that this is a left-hand drive taxi, which is a little bit weird as we are in the UK and we drive on the other side. But 
yeah, nice sight. Well done. So last one for tonight is tanexpert.net. So, my overall impression of the site is it doesn't, I mean it doesn't look bad by any stretch of imagination, it just doesn't feel quite right. I don't know what it is, it just, I don't, maybe it's the theme. Sahifa, not, not familiar with it. I'm not sure if this logo is too big or there's something going on. Now tanning, I guess, is a good niche. I'm not quite sure how much competition. You'd have to do a bit of research. You're optimized for best indoor tanning lotion. Or is that just like the latest post that you've got on here? So this has to be at Amazon. We've just been told in the chat. I never heard that before, but I guess it's true. You got loads of good articles. They look quite good. To best indoor tanning lotion to use when you hit your plateau. I'm wondering if this needs to be optimized to fit what people are actually searching for. Like uh, can't tan any more. Is that one? Um, tanning lotion doesn't work anymore. I don't know, the, I'm just guessing that these might be the things. I'm gonna have a look down here in the um, keywords anywhere. There's great, some good ideas here. Look, best self tanner for face, best gradual tanning lotion. 480 search a month. How to get fake tan off hands quickly. How to look at these loads of things, but I'm wondering if this niche might be a bit competitive. We've got a nice table, very nice. I just think the look and feel of the site could be improved with a better feel, uh, better feel, better theme. That's what I'd be thinking on this site. But I think your niche is interesting. I've got a feeling it's going to be competitive, but I might be wrong. And even if it is, it looks like there's enough kind of searches on so many random different things. How does bronzer tanning lotion work? And they've all got quite good volume. So self tanning ideas. What does outdoor tanning lotion do? There's so much here. So I think if you get the content like cranked up, it could work. Edward, good to see you. You remind me of someone in that, in that profile picture. Um, it says, hi Alex, I watched your video with Daryl this afternoon. Thank you, did you enjoy it? I just wondered how you got your first clients when starting out. I, how did I get my first clients? I went to network meetings generally. So locally, and I imagine locally to wherever you are, there will be some networking events going on. Just search online, you should find them. They're generally breakfasts and lunch and dinners. Well, not dinners necessarily, but evening. And you turn up and you can then meet people. And I just met some people, made some relationships, and kind of went out from there. I didn't get any of my work online, which I think is what I spoke about with Daryl earlier today. Just getting myself out there. I did a lot of websites for cheap or for very little money, just to get a few under my belt. And I just made sure that I did a really good job for the client and good communication. And then I found that you do a good job for one person, they tell someone else, and it just kind of goes out like that and I still get referral work now from from that network that I built. Roger says I've been adding products from Amazon. Oh by the way we can go back over there. We've done all the uh, site reviews. Let's go back over here. Yeah but do go check out Doug's webinar. Okay. Um Here we are.
Where do we get to? Yeah, Roger, I've been adding products from Amazon for my site, but some product pictures are small or weird. That does happen sometimes. But I'm also, I'm getting WooCommerce asking me to pay and install additional vary images. Will it cure it? It might do. Um, I think if you go into the customize section on your theme, there'll be a WooCommerce setting in there and you can adjust image sizing. I did have this problem with the site I'm currently working on, the Swim Science ones, which is not still not quite finished because I've been distracted with other things. And I just reached out to AA team and they adjusted something and it made it work. So that might be your best option. William, as it's a return review, I will just quickly have a look at your site because I'm interested to see if I can even remember it. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. What have you done? Ah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's looking good. Still got a slider going on. Still got very low resolution images. These look really blocky on my screen. You tidied it up a little bit. I think there's still more tidying to do. I think there's still lots of different font sizes and there's still not enough padding around there. A lot of borders, different size fonts. In fact, these are just images, aren't they? Which is not, I don't know, are they images? No, they're fine. But they're all different sizes and the padding is out a little bit. That's falling out of the box. I think there's still a bit of tidying up to do, but you're definitely on the right track. Maybe get in touch with in a couple of weeks when you've done even more and we'll have a good, good look at it. Okay. Adam Anua says, webinars are free and if there is a limited discount offer at the end of the webinar, then that's good. That's true. Webinars are often provide really good um, value information, but of course they are a sales tool and whoever's running the webinar is ultimately looking to sell you something. Anthony says, uh, what is stopping you from using WooZone for your best roof book site? Well, it's nothing really stopping me, but I set up that website with the intention of not using WooZone. I wanted to do a blog, a very simple blog style site, very content focused. So uh, that's why I'm not using it. I wanted to uh, create a site that was very low cost because a lot of people can't afford to buy WooZone and hosting and all the rest of it. So I wanted to keep costs to a minimal. And yeah, I won't be using WooZone on that site and it's earning loads of money, isn't it? Well, more money than my WooZone sites have. <laughs> but that is because I've invested more money in it, I should say, and in the content and stuff like that. Mike says sliders make me feel dizzy, except maybe a simple one at the top to display a couple of services. Yeah, I've got write off sliders. I don't use them at all if I can help it. The other issue with sliders is I don't think most people see past like slide number one, or maybe two, but generally they scrolled past it before it's, it slid. Helen says image can be mirrored to make it right handed. Yeah, you could flip that and it'd probably be okay. But then the watch will be back to front. Yep, good point, Bradbury. Ender says you can't use the Amazon rating on tables. You're absolutely right, that's what Doug said. You can come up with your own rating that's similar to theirs. Hello, Best Tech Reviews. You're not that late. We've only been going 30 minutes. Mike's got a pint of cider and site advice. No better way to spend my Wednesday evening. Yeah, I need a refreshment. I've only got water. <laughs> Pastor is saying the first impressions of that tan site is that it feels like an old site. Yeah, it had that feeling to it, didn't it? Like it was a little bit dated. Best of reviews, is anyone else excited for Prime Day? When is that? You've done a whole article on Prime Day. I've just... Uh, Approved it for the chat. Scroll up if you missed it by Best Tech Reviews. Go check that out, it looks interesting. Hi, Michael says, is there any plugins or how do we show reviews from multiple review sites on our website? Mm, that's not something I've done. Ocean Water says, do you sell a course on website building for sales? I don't, all this, my information is free and available on YouTube. You can see exactly what I've been doing to my site in order to 
um, grow the revenue within the playlist that's on the channel. It's all in there. I don't have anything to sell in terms of courses. Hudson says, does Google recognize and rank domains ending with .co, .shop, etc. equally to .com or .co.uk? In theory, yes, it does. But in practice, you tend to see that the, the majority of sites that rank well end in the more traditional domain names, .com, .co.uk, that kind of stuff. So my advice is always, if you can get a .com, then get the .com. I'm glad I've inspired you to get back into it, Mike. Barra says, which SSL do you prefer? I generally prefer the one that comes with the hosting. So if you're with a decent hosting company like SiteGround, HostGator, any of those guys, they all now provide a free SSL. So just install it if they haven't done so already, which most of them do automatically. If they haven't, you should just be able to install it via your cPanel. It's often provided by Let's Encrypt, as Admin Neo has just said. Mark says the site traffic has dropped considerably since the last Google update. And the Google ads at the top now. Any suggestions? What was the niche you're in? Is there any reason why your traffic dropped? Were you doing anything a bit naughty? Elsie says, how do you turn off the new day default page builder? Are you talking about Gutenberg? If you want to get rid of Gutenberg, you can go and install a plugin called Classic Editor. Just go to WordPress plugins, add new, do a search, Classic Editor. Install that and you'll be back to old school editing. Ocean Water to Wave says, I think you should make a course and sell it on Udemy. I think I probably should too as well, but you know what I'm like with my time management. I'm too busy doing everything else. Um, I, I appreciate the kind comments though. Barris says that Namecheap doesn't give you an SSL certificate. Well, you need to leave Namecheap. I wouldn't use Namecheap for hosting anyway, because as their name suggests, they do domain names. It's a bit like buying hosting from GoDaddy, it's rubbish. They're traditionally domain registrar companies. They decided to do some hosting, set up an old PC in the corner of the office and started selling it as hosting, and they're just not good enough. So cancel that, go to SiteGround, use my link, wpeagle.com slash SiteGround. You'll get your SSL certificate and everything will be better. Hello Steve, good to see you, don't worry about being late. I'm glad you're writing articles. That's much more productive than watching me, <laughs> probably. Ocean Water to Wave says, how about on the tan site you had, you buy some photos of tan people? I think that would make me look yeah, a good idea. You get loads of stock photography of tan people. Martin says, I think you need to move into a new bigger room, buddy. You look a bit cramped. I like my little room. I do need a bit of a clear out. There's a lot of junk in here. It's nice and cozy in here in the winter, but yeah, I have had slight thoughts about going up into the loft and converting that into like a whole office studio type thing, but that's quite a big project. <laughs> Action Movie says, please, some skills to get free traffic to my site. The best way to get traffic to your site is to create some good content around some keywords that don't have too much competition. You can find out all about that on my channel. Check out the playlist I did with Doug Cunnington. There's loads of stuff on there in terms of getting good ideas for articles. Write some good articles, keep posting away, and you will get traffic from Google and other search engines. Steve says, uh, that he's just testing out some ClickBank links on one of his sites. Have you got any experience with ClickBank? Yeah, I used to promote ClickBank products a, a long time ago. I never had much success with it, if I'm honest. But yeah, it's, I, I know people that have had success with ClickBank. I think it depends on the niche. I would love to do a meme review with PewDiePie. I wonder if he'd invite me. No no worries, R7, I know what technology is like. It always lets you down when you need it the most. But as R7 says, why not give me a thumbs up? Why not? I noticed that the down thumb has now gone. <laughs> Someone's just trying to trigger me. They know 
what the down thumbs do to me. But there's 49 of you watching right now and there's only 25 thumbs down there. So if you haven't pressed it, why not just move your pointer down? It makes me feel happy. Marty says, Gaz, sorry, Gaz says, is that the room under the stairs? It's not, it's the room upstairs. But it, it's just a tiny little office. It's not even a bedroom. You can get a bed in here. Marty says, yeah, what is your thoughts on using one-on-one -on -one IONIS for domain and basic hosting? I'm not a big fan of one-on-one. -on -one. I've come across it a number of times with clients and just not found it that great. Also, I don't know if this is true nowadays, but they used to have all their servers over in Germany or somewhere, which wasn't great if you're in the US or UK and trying to rank and have fast sites, that kind of stuff. So not a big fan of one-on-one. -on -one. Steve says, it reminds me of Schofield in the early days of going to go for, yeah, it's the broom cupboard. That's what it is, the broom cupboard. Annette says, this might be something you have talked about previously. I don't think it is actually. I don't think I have talked about this. And that is um, uh, tags on posts. Tags are not that useful unless, I'll tell you when they come in to be useful, is if you've got a related posts plugin of any sort, which you know, shows um, you know other posts you might like at the bottom of a post. It'll, there'll be other links to posts on your site. If you use tags, those plugins tend to work better and are able to um, more intelligently recommend other posts. But generally, you don't have to use tags. Federico says, how do you find places to blog comment or blog post to build links? Just do some searches on Google um, around the topic and you should find blog posts. If you want to kind of uh, find people that um, are some, are, sorry, let me start again. Let me get on the computer actually and show you. If you want to find some sites that Except guest posts, for example. So I know that for the best roof box niche, it kind of spills over into camping and adventure and that kind of stuff. So if I do a search for like camping and then do a little speech mark and then type in like write for us. We've got this blog that's come up first, yeah? Rainyadventures.com. We've got annoying cookie consent. And look, here we go, I can guess post. It's gotta be about this kind of stuff, which I could do a post on, you know, best roof box for canoeing, boating, kayak, I could do something on these. It has to be a brand new article, that's fine. Make sure it's original, that they're basically the same thing. A thousand words, no maximum. And then, yeah, just email it, there we go. So that's one, I'd send off them, send them an article. Next one, beyond the tent. Um, I could get in touch with them and let them know also that their contact form seven isn't working and offer to fix that for them. There's number two that I can send an article to and get a link. Uh, number three, outdoor gears. I think you get the idea, don't you? There's three sites there that I could reach out to uh, with a guest post. Remember guest post is uh, one of the best ways to get some links that are of very high of, uh, quality. By the way, of course, if you are in the market for hosting, you can always talk to Phil, who is in the chat this evening. He provides me with my hosting for a lot of my sites and my client sites. Um, and he offers shared host, not shared hosting, he offers VPS hosting. He hates shared hosting, I don't know what I'm saying. Mike says, do you have any plans to run any paid traffic to bestroofbox.com? I don't at the moment, um, but maybe I'll, I'll consider it in the future, possibly. Stephanie says, I love your office and all the fun stuff. Our space tells a lot about us. Yeah, it tells you that I've got a very cluttered mind, doesn't it? Look at my desk and 
just ugh, I need to tidy up. Well, there's a lot of talk about hosting at the moment. Phil says that TSO shared servers are terrible. They are, they used to be really good. I used to love TSO host. If you go back to a lot of my early uh, tutorial videos, I always recommend a TSO host. But then like all of these companies, they get bought up by bigger companies and then the service is good. Interestingly, I still earn commission though with TSO host from those old videos. Yeah, if you need a VPS, if you've got a lot of sites, it's worth talking to Phil because he can sort you out, put you all on one server all to yourself. Dirty Harry says, uh, what has been the most successful affiliate website you have or have, you have or had? There's so many videos and articles claiming it's easy to earn $1,000 a month. Well, okay, first thing, it's not easy to earn $1,000 a month. It takes a lot of work, dedication, um, learning, all that stuff. Generally a bit of work, mainly. Um, my most successful site is wpeagle.com, funnily enough. Uh, this this YouTube channel and, and the website, that is the majority of my earnings, mainly because I'm recommending products like hosting uh, and things like that, which pay handsomely in terms of commission. In terms of my Amazon sites, Boot Boutique did well for quite some time, getting up to a good few hundred a month uh, without hardly any work at all. That has fallen away, mainly because I've neglected that site and I think it's just not not up to date and Woozone's not working correctly. Um, I had another great site a little while back, a good few years back, that was earning a good few thousand a month. That was all around WordPress themes, just listing lots of WordPress themes, reviewing them, like writing articles, you know, best WordPress themes for photographers, that kind of stuff. That did really well. Um, and I'm excited to see how my current site, Best Roof Box, is going to uh, pan out. I mean, it's already up to over 100 a month. It's only been launched since March. Got big plans for that site. I'm going to get it up to over a thousand a month, and then I am going to sell it for five figures ideally. And of course, I'm gonna document everything that I do with regards to that, so yeah. But yeah, it's not easy to earn a thousand a month. It does, um, it's not hard either if you've got a, a strong work ethic and you you know what you're doing. It's generally finding a good niche and creating lots of good content. The great thing about it is, is that once you have created something like uh, a good niche site, it will continue to generate that money for you even when you're on holiday, when you're asleep, and all that kind of stuff. So. There is no get easy way to earn some good money. I mean, if there was, then we'd all be doing it, wouldn't we? It takes a lot of uh, work and effort and pushing yourself a little bit. And yeah, I hate all those gurus out there on YouTube and the rest of the internet that kind of imply that it's easy. And the reason they do that is because they have a course that they're trying to sell you and they imply that the course has got all the answers, which it hasn't because we all know how you make money online. You become an affiliate, you set up a website, you promote products, that's basically it. There's obviously nuances to it, but a lot of the information that these guys are selling is all available on the web for free anyway, like on YouTube. There we go. Uh, Steve says, am I allowed to promote other YouTubers? I saw a good one on how to get traffic from Facebook. Seems to have some good ideas. If it's okay, I'll post the name. Yeah, sure. Share, we share in this. You can share other YouTube channels. I've not got any problem with that. I'd like to work with other YouTubers as you've seen in my videos. Any white hat backlink suggestions? That one I just did there with the guest posting, that's my suggestion there for some white hat links. Other ways could be with Quora, the question and answer site, you could go and answer some questions on there. Antti says, when creating a guest post, do you offer the same post on all sites or does it have to be unique for each site? It has to be unique for each site. Ideally, otherwise they won't like it. They won't do their sites any favor if you send out five articles and they all publish the same one. They'll all have duplicate content and then it'd be problems for all of them. And you don't wanna give people problems. Hi there across the pond. Hi Frank. I'm having a hard time getting Facebook sharing to work. The Facebook debugger gets a four free error when scraping my web pages. Phil, you might know what that is. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of firewall system that you've got set up that's blocking Facebook. V 
Phil is going to post his email address by the way if you want to reach out to him for any of this kind of stuff. Arsem says, so what's the VPS hosting? It's called, it stands for Virtual Private Server. It's basically when you've got your own server for all your own websites, but it's kind of virtual. Martin says, what's the cost of Phil's servers? It depends on what you want. They're all bespoke quotes. Uh, Mike says, VPS is a lot of work. They are, because you don't have the help and support of a big hosting company to make sure everything's fine. That's why Phil's there. And he's helped me with all of my little problems that I've had with the server. And we're running smoothly now. <laughs> and in fact, I've got to a point now where I pay Phil an extra charge just to look after all my sites because I can't be bothered with WordPress updates and security and all that stuff. When you've got like, how many sites have I got now, Phil? I don't know, 20 or so, it's, it's too much. Barra says, watch hosting plan for site on SiteGround for Woozone Affiliate website. You'll be fine with just the grow big work WordPress one. They're all the same as I say, if you go for the WooCommerce one, it's the same, but they'll just install WooCommerce for you if you want them to, but you know, it's probably better if you do it yourself and you know what you're doing. Yeah, Phil's email is in the chat. It's phil at spiderweb.co.uk and spider spelt without the E, I don't know, some sort of typo he did when he registered the domain. <laughs> Babise, do you have a full-time job or do you do this for a living? I do this for a living. I haven't had a full-time job for nearly 20 years now. Is it 20 years? Can't be that long. It might be. Wow. When did I register my company? I'm just gonna check this out now. I mean, I haven't been doing this all that time. I've been doing lots of other things, including, um, you know, running businesses and had my internet marketing agency. I started off doing wireless stuff, installing wireless equipment in people's houses. Yeah, I incorporated I incorporated my company in 2003. Wow. So yeah, 16 years. 16 years? Yeah. Thought it was more, more. That's still quite a lot. Gaz says some interesting article ideas when using Roofbox on Answer the Public. Well, let's have a look at that, shall we? Zaynan says, I've been thinking of using Pinterest to get traffic to my website. Would you recommend it? I would, certainly would. I've got a video on how to do that, actually. Let me just post you a link to that. Just pasting it now. Oh, YouTuber was Lazy Ass Stoner. Yeah, go check out Lazy Ass Stoner. We're always talking about him. He does do some great videos. They're a bit sporadic, aren't they? But um... <clears throat> so yeah, answer the public. Is that still free? I heard they were going to make it um, a paid for thing. This is a great keyword research tool. Give you some ideas for content. So I type in roof, I'm gonna go for roof cargo box because that's what they tend to call it in America. Oh yeah, there is restrictions. Okay, looks like we're gonna go for GBR. When I first started reviewing this, it was different. So these sort of things, are, I've already created a lot of content around this, how to store a roof cargo box, how to install a roof cargo box, how to pack a roof cargo box, where to buy. Let me just change this to roof box because if we're gonna do UK, then it's just a roof box. Oh, hang on. I haven't transitioned, have I? <laughs> Sorry, you were just looking at the back of my head, weren't you? I do apologize. So yeah, answer the public. Uh, it's a real good place to find content ideas. What roof box fits my car? That's an interesting one. How to open a roof box without keys? Mm. Yeah, that's for the thieves out there, is it? 
how to attach full roof box. I could do a video on that myself. I've got a full roof box. Thule, Thule, Thule. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, can you store a roof box outside? That's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Where to buy a roof box? Yeah, loads of good stuff. So go check out this tool, by the way. Answer the public's really good. Anyway, let's kind of it's kind of time to wrap up. Roofbox for Voxel Sephira, 170 month. Yeah, I don't know if they have Voxel Sephiras in the States, although that might not be a problem because I am getting some UK traffic. I might have to branch out the site into UK and US. Carl says he's just got a major website to swap out a bank link, a backlink for one of his. You don't ask, you don't get, and I got well done, Carl. That sounds great. Just quickly trying to catch up with the chat. Mark says, have you had any success of advertising your sites with Amazon affiliate products? What do you suggest? Uh, no, I, I'm i very cautious of running ads to Amazon affiliate sites because the commission rate is so low, you can very easily spend more than you'll make. 35 likes, really pleased with that. I'm glad you enjoyed tonight's stream. I'm gonna wrap up anyway. I'm not gonna do any more site reviews now because it's, it's the end anyway. If you want me to review your site next week, then do email me, my email address is up there, eagle at wpeagle.com. Before I go, let me remind you that merchandise is available on wpeagle.com and also do go check out the content service. We'd love to take on a couple of you guys on that and help you with your content. Um, you get to deal with me, but you'd also have a project manager as well. And... Yeah, the YouTube video will be up very, very soon. Probably next week now, looking at my schedule. I've got the day off on Friday. It's my wife's birthday. We're retreating to a spa, get away from the kids for one day and one evening, and one night only. So not going to be around then. And tomorrow I've got to go and see a client. Hey-ho, clients, eh? Steve says, have you ever thought about doing a paid workshop, maybe a weekend Whereas devoted students can meet up and meet the master. That's too kind. I'm not a master by any any uh, stretch of the imagination. That is an idea. However, everyone is so far away. There's you know people in America, people in North of England, South of England, uh, and other weird and wonderful places. So I'm not quite sure how that would work. But if you want any ideas, then let me know. Oh yeah, let's put the the link up to the Facebook group. Thank you for reminding me, Stephanie. Just put it in the chat now. That is the Facebook um, mastermind group. I've just put it up, Helen. Do come and join us. We talk about things in there. We share sites and we just have a chat about each other's stuff and help each other along. So yeah, do come and join us. We're up to... Um, I don't know how many members we've got. 191 members now, so it's growing very nicely. Very nice little community we've got. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a look at the current price of Bitcoin. It's it's going to the moon again. Have you noticed? I don't know if any of you guys, you know, I used to work Bitcoin. I don't talk about it anymore. Well, I am going to start talking about it again now because it's come back to ridiculous money again. It's like twelve thousand dollars a coin again. So I don't know if any of you guys took my advice a long time ago and bought any, but if you did, you're probably smiling now. Yeah, we could do a UK one, and then maybe I could do one in the States as well, because any excuse to go on holiday. Do 
JJ says, hi Alex, any advice using Google AdWords? It depends what your site you're promoting. <laughs> Google AdWords works really well for e-commerce sites selling products that you actually own and are selling. I wouldn't use Google AdWords for an Amazon affiliate site because you'll end up spending more than you, you'll probably make. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this evening's stream, I did. Uh, a little bit of a technical issue at the beginning, but it uh, seems okay now. Steve says he's been checking the Bitcoin. Have you got Have you got a couple? Good work, Steve. And yeah, email me your site. If I haven't reviewed your site tonight, then I'll happily do it next week. If you email me now, then you'll definitely be first on the list and be included in next week's stream. Next week's stream may be at, I'm thinking it might be at quarter past nine UK time. I hope that works for you. I know quarter past nine is a funny time, but basically because I, I want to do karate in, karate on a, on a Wednesday. And that finishes at half past eight, and by the time I get home and shower and get myself ready for you guys, that's gonna take 45 minutes, so that's why I'm thinking quarter past nine. But yeah, thank you all for your support, and good luck with your sites. YouTube video will be next uh, week, but I may do intermittent updates on Best Roof Box um, within the Facebook group, so yeah, be sure to go and join that right now. The chat will be running for about five minutes after the stream, so if you guys want to talk amongst yourselves, do that and share email addresses and links and, and all that kind of stuff. Notice that the light has been very bright this evening and I'm looking very shiny. I should have adjusted that, but it's too late now. Yeah, 9.15 p.m., Helen. It is specific, very specific. If I said 9.12, that would have been more specific, but hey. <laughs> Okay, let's do the final countdown. See you all. Five, four. Remember, click the like button if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment as well. Three, two, I'm gonna press the button when I hit one. So we'll see if it's in sync. Two, one, see you later.